Items, I'm sorry, but you've turned into a complete bitch. I'm watching your response, and the first thing I see is you put some teenager's face in the middle of the screen and blast his comment for the world to see, along with his name on Twitter. It's nice to know you've been reduced to bullying 15-year-olds on the internet with the help of your millions of fans that then came to harass the person on Twitter, all because he called you a simp on the internet. You're such a pussy, dude. This is the type of shit that Leafy would have done, and you would have called him out on it. And you got mad at him just because you act like an edgelord all the time that can say the n-word freely even though you're a pacey scrawny ass white boy but you're still pussy whip so hard that you let your girlfriend squat her ass for thousands of people to see and i'm not talking about her only fans don't you worry about that you know she has a not safe for work twitter account which she made after you paid for her boob job i cannot believe that that is hilarious to me so you're telling me you pay for her tit job for her to show her body to other people on the internet for free that is just so funny there are some fanboy idiots that worship items and still ask the question, why do you care? It's not your relationship, he can do what he wants. And I say to that, you're exactly right. It is his relationship and you can respect his decision, but it's also a public one that millions of people can see. It's also hilarious, but most of all, it's pathetic. It's just so funny that iDubbbz, the guy who was once seen as the top dog on YouTube, has fallen to the level of a bald, pedophile looking man that has to make a 9 minute video to show how he cares so little about being called a cuck on the internet when he was once the most badass YouTuber on the site. The old iDubbbz from 2016 would roast the 2021 for being such a bitch, man. I remember the peak of iDubbbz was the scene at the end of Leafy's response where Leafy makes this sad roast calling out iDubbbz receding hairline and he shaves his head in front of his fans to show that he didn't give a fuck. Now he's over here making a 9 minute video bullying 15 year olds on Twitter all because people are calling him a pussy whipped simp. But I also wanted to mention the dumbest and most idiotic points that items made in this video that just make him look like an absolute retard it's amazing here's the first one that caught my eye and future jobs they might be a little bit harder to come by i think this is one of the most important opinions to highlight because it really demonstrates a severe lack of real world experience when you're saying that future jobs are going to be harder to come by because of an only fans account like, if you think this affects your standing or your social credibility in getting jobs, you are so sadly mistaken. Idubs, what the hell are you talking about? You're saying if your girlfriend makes an OnlyFans account and a job recruiter looks her name up, finds her ass squatting over a camera, you really think they would think, oh man, this person is so interesting and unique, and I would love to have this person work for our company. Are you stupid? That's not how things work in the real world. People sometimes don't get hired for drinking too much on Facebook photos because recruiters actively look up people on social media. But go for it, iDubs. If you want to convince your millions of impressionable fans that it's perfectly okay to have an OnlyFans account, oh, that won't affect your future at all. It's not like recruiters look up your fucking name on every single social media account that you have. It blows my mind that there are still stupid ass items fans that support this kind of behavior. There's also this interesting point that I just made that was hilarious. In my head, there would be uh, so many other things to do and make money before stooping to this point. I find it very fascinating that a commentary YouTuber who's known for criticizing others, much like me, would be willing to take the position that sex work is beneath them. Uh, that they aren't on the same level as sex work. That's fascinating. I find it really interesting that that is the uh, that's the position you want to take. That I think that'll age quite nicely. I dubs. Do you mean that one day he will become a little simp bitch like you that will let his girlfriend use him for views? Or are you making the even dumber argument that yes, sex work is on the low end of respectable job choices? I know this might blow your cuckold mind, but that's a pretty common consensus. Great job, iDubbbz. Not only are you advocating bullying 15-year-olds that insult you on Twitter with your millions of fans, you made the groundbreaking idea that OnlyFans accounts won't affect future job careers to your fan base, and you continue to blow people's minds away by suggesting that a job like selling your body is just as similar as a normal job in society. It's just like working at a bakery. iDubbbz has lost his fucking mind. It is ridiculous. You have become an absolute 
idiot and not just a cuck. You do realize that if your partner is making a lot of money and is very wealthy, that doesn't automatically make you feel fulfilled in the relationship or feel like you're contributing enough. Because based on your argument, then I guess Jeff Bezos' son just should never work at McDonald's. There's enough money in the family. I think there's enough money in that household. No reason Philip Bezos needs to go on OnlyFans. Doesn't need to lower himself to that standard. The world would be a much better place if people like Philip Bezos, I don't know if that's his son's actual name, but if Philip Bezos did OnlyFans, that would be a perfectly fine thing to do. This is the peak of Idub's brain. If the child of a famous person made an OnlyFans account, it would be all over the internet of how a child with so much potential squandered their future by reducing their occupation to the bottom feeder trailer trash level of selling their body online for easy money like your girlfriend and how horrific it looks for the many other impressionable teenagers and people that look up to these people that may think it's acceptable to do the same. You are so dumb, dude. It blows my mind. It's like every point you've made in this video is either retarded or dangerous to your fan base that care about you and will listen to what you say. You're going through all these mental gymnastics, turning those gears inside your brain to try to rationalize this behavior to your fans. And the worst part is, if these fans of various ages accept this behavior, they might start doing the same. These younger girl fans might listen to you and take your words to heart and start using their body and only fans to make money and be crushed when they realize that job recruiters can use the internet and find traces of the pictures they spread all over the internet. Selling pictures of yourself that are lewd online shouldn't be something we should all accept. Now I'm not going to ignore the idea that yes, just because one person in the relationship makes money doesn't mean the other shouldn't, but it's also hilarious the way she does it is by attracting attention from the items fans that suddenly realize that you've become such a little bitch that you're completely fine with your girlfriend reducing yourself to the level of a standard twitch thought, even though you act like a complete edgelord that can say the n-word. It's that specific context that makes this entire situation so funny, and I think there's nothing wrong with a girl that does decide to sell her body online to have a relationship. Now there's one final point I wanted to discuss about items comment sections and certain comments that are getting either deleted or marked as spam. Now I wanted to test this by making a comment of my own that I formatted in a way that wouldn't get marked as spam because believe me I have so many comments in my own spam section on my YouTube channel so I'm pretty familiar with what kind of comments get marked as spam and what don't. So whether Idubs is being such a hypocrite bitch that he would stoop to Leafy's level of deleting comments that reference his chin or my comment did get marked as spam even though 1.7k people liked it and many more managed to see it is up to debate. But all I know is items you better improve my damn comment if it got marked as spam or at least show that it did get in your folder or you're a complete cuckold that can't handle getting criticism. Apparently even comments that aren't getting copy pasted are getting marked as spam like the one I don't know why everyone is being so mean to her I love our girlfriend. There's many people that are calling him out on deleting comments that aren't even copy pasted. And I'm just like, dude, it would be so easy for items to just show the spam section of his comments and just pull up a little picture that he could post on Twitter to prove all these people wrong. And the fact that he isn't doing it is just making himself look like more of a bitch than he already is. I want my comment to be seen by more people. I was really getting happy by all the people that were supporting me for it. Here's my final advice to you, Idubs. It's time to stop acting edgy and realize you've fallen in status. You've already made a 9 minute video to defend yourself because you felt the need to explain why being a cuckold is totally fine. But 2016 Idubs wouldn't have been such a bitch. He would have worn the simp title with honor. He would have paraded it around for everyone to see and people would laugh at it and respected him even more. But you failed to do that. You're washed up. And you need to just accept that you're not the content cop anymore. You're the content cuck. This has been your boy Not Slick, and thank you for watching. This is probably going to be the last iDubs video in a while, and I appreciate all the support thus far. Also, this video is 9 minutes, so enjoy the irony. Thank you guys for watching, and the outro is coming in 3, 2, 1. Subscribe.